Next up for my budget accessory build for the uh, Nikon is this Tacstar. This is the Tacstar SGC 598. It's under $30 off of Amazon. Link will be down in the description. I was going to get a Rode mic, but I'm on a fixed income budget, so I thought I'd give this a try first. And uh, Actually, the reviews on YouTube were pretty good for uh, a budget, inexpensive uh, shotgun mic. So, And I also bought the newer 836 dead cat for it it was a recommendation by another youtuber so let's go ahead and open it up make it really quick i already opened it up before i wanted i had to i just wanted to make sure that nothing was damaged during shipment so okay really quick accessory uh, accessory info let's see here instructions this side is english has uh let me go ahead and Focus in there, see if you can see it. There you go. One side is English, the other side is in Chinese. Next step, I don't know what this is. I assume it's probably a warranty card or something, but it's, it's all in Chinese. So we'll go ahead and put that aside. This is just an, an inspection st sticker or paper. English on one side, Chinese on the other side. Inspector, inspection date, of course, it's not filled out. A little uh, tax star bag, which is nice. Keep your uh, shotgun mic clean while in storage. All right. This here, this is the uh, sh the extra shotgun mic mounts, uh, shock absorbers. So there's there's uh, four on the front and four in the back. So there's a total of eight in here. And here's the product. This is the tax star SGC five ninety eight. On and off button. I already installed, pre-installed the uh, takes one AA battery. So you can see when you turn it on, there's the green light. Go ahead and turn it off. I still got to read the instructions, to make sure I set it correctly. This is just basically an unboxing and an overview. I like how they uh, have a little uh, keeper there for the line, so it doesn't get in the way. You just place it there for storage and transport. That's nice. Now, when it did arrive, the uh, the shoe mount was in the middle here. So you got you got two positions you can move it to. So there's a little screw in here. All you got to do is a Phillips screw. Just uh, loosen it up. It was right here. Loosen it up, take it off, and put it in the back. Now, when I had it in the middle here, this was sticking, hitting me in the forehead. I couldn't uh, look through the uh, screen, through the you know the back of the camera. So by placing it towards the back of the shotgun mic. I had all I have all the room in the world now, so pretty simple. There it is. Here's the uh, the mounts. One, two, three, four, and same thing in the front. One, two, three, and four. So if you lose them or they break, you can uh, replace it with the extra ones that they uh, that were in the bag. All right, I have my little US Postal Service scale there. So let's go ahead and, uh, there is a, a AA battery in here. So let's go ahead and weigh it. So with the battery, 6.6 6 ounces. That's with the battery. Let's get a, a rough measurement. So from one end to the other, almost nine inches long, eight inches and seven, seven eighths. And then from the, uh, how wide is it? From the top to down to the uh, shoe mount. Roughly three, three and three eighths. All right, let's go ahead and attach it to the uh, camera. Flip the camera around. This is just for trial. I don't know if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it up here. I guess it matters. Uh, my mic input is over here, so I have no choice unless I get an extension for this uh, plug here. I have to put it on this side because my, my input is right down here on the left side. Got to make sure it, it reaches. There we go. I'm supposed to leave this on. 
You can tell I've never used a shotgun mic before. Now let's go ahead and place this over it. Yep, that's what it was. There you go. Okay, there you go. Now it's not going to slide off. So there's the uh, newer, that's the newer 8386 Dead Cat. So that's what it looks like right now. This is the newer 176 with the battery. Really great little product. I'll have the uh, product link down in the description. So let's go ahead and put this on. This is going to be my vlogging setup. So let's go ahead and it's the newer 176. This is the newer dead cat and then uh, turn it around. That's the tax star SG C 598 on my uh, this is the Limo Limo Studio triple cold shoe mount. And then below, of course, this is my Nikon D55. Love it. I've had it for like two years. And then below it, that is the uh, LOHA, L-O-H-A. It's considered, uh, well, it's on there as Amazon's choice. So I bought it. I'll try it out, see if it lasts. It's all plastic, so I don't know if, how durable it is. But it's supposed to hold up to five pounds. So... I guess I should weigh my entire setup here and see uh, exactly how much it weighs uh, without the tripod. All right, I took the, uh, the tripod off because you're supposed to measure what will be on top of the tripod. And that entire setup here, the newer 176, the triple hot cold shoe mount, the Tacstar SGC 598. And my uh, Nikon comes out to three pounds, 11.7 ounces. So let's see if I can focus in. So that little Loha tripod should be able to handle it and a little more. So there you go, folks. It's late night here already. So I'm going to get more better footage tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Morning. Troy from Troy's Hobbies. I'm getting ready to finish up this tax star review and so the final thing I have to do is add some test uh, sound video so right now I have the Nikon D55 the tax star is connected to it but it's unplugged at five feet this is what it sounds like with the regular Nikon uh, speak uh, mic and so I'm gonna go ahead and step back to 10 feet and see if you can hear me still here I am at 10 feet I don't know if, if you can even hear me. This is at 10 feet, just with the Nikon D5500 internal mic. The Nikon D5500 is still on auto mode, so it's, it's trying to hunt for me. Uh, but I went ahead and uh, put it on manual at seven, and on the tax star, I left the uh, decibel gain at zero. So this is what it sounds like at five, exactly five feet. I measured it. I have some marks on, in the snow here. This is five feet away with the tax star zero gain on the tax star but i do have the the nikon set at seven manual so i'm gonna go ahead and step back to 10 feet see what it sounds like this is 10 feet away with the tax star at zero gain and i have the nikon d5500 at seven manual with the nikon still in auto focus in auto mode uh, sorry for the background noise from the heat pump from my neighbor's house. But anyways, I'm at five, at five feet with the uh, Nikon on automatic, man, uh, automatic mode uh, for the uh, focus. The, uh, I have the sound on manual at seven, and then the tack starts connected. This is with the gain on, so the 10 decibel gain is on right now. This is what it sounds like. So this is exactly five feet, five feet away from the camera lens. I marked it, marked my position. So this is what it sounds like. And that's with the uh, newer dead cat attached to the mic. So I'm gonna go ahead and step back to 10 feet so you can see what it sounds like with the 10 decibel gain.
Same setup with the Techstar on, Nikon D5500. Manual seven, autofocus is left on, so it's probably trying to focus for me, but hopefully you don't hear that focusing. But this is with a 10 decibel gain with a tack star attached and the newer dead cat attached to it to protect it from the wind and the snow.